In this video, what we're going to be doing is changing a room thermostat from the type that has the warmer cooler to one that has uh, that is just a wall sensor. Uh, once you change the hardware, which is very easy for this particular model, uh, the zone bus cable just plugs right in to the unit, uh, and it's just you know we're just changing this from the type that has an adjustment to one that is just plainly a sensor. Uh, it does require a program change. I have got my connection device plugged into the unit now and uh, I've got the unit installed and the next step is to do the program change for this device. I've got CCT open on my computer. What I'm doing now is I have my connection uh, type selected. I'm using the Bluetooth here. Everything else is configured correctly. Uh, it, this will vary depending on your computer and various other things. I'm simply going to hit next and then it is going to try to connect to the uh, network that this uh, particular controller is on and from there I will be able to upload the control program that is in the device and make the necessary changes. Once the uh, screen has populated for the uh, various devices on your network you will select the particular device that you are uh, installing this on and once you have that highlighted you simply hit next and it will bring you to a review screen where you can double check to make sure that you have everything correctly selected as far as the particular device that you're wanting to upload and from this screen you just hit finish and it will upload the program from the zone controller if you are using a different rev level of CCT than the program for the zone controller was written with it will ask you if you wish to upgrade the file to the newer version in order to be able to download this file or to make the major changes that you will need to make you must upgrade or use the same rev level of CCT to make this change that the software was written with the um, original version was 5.3 and we are currently at rev level 10 so we are going to upgrade this program to make the necessary changes once you hit next it will go through and uh, make a few just a quick scan but if you were to save it now it would ask you to uh, you know if you wish to save the changes that you've made because you have made changes to the program on uh, programs that are custom that have a lot of custom features in the program you need to be very cautious about upgrading because you can uh, literally brick a controller you can turn it to a uh, just a useless paperweight if you're not careful okay now what we're going to do here is I'm going to expand my view just a bit to make it a little easier I'm simply going to go down to my network points or to my inputs because the warmer cooler is no longer going to be used. I'm simply going to right click here. I want to select delete. Uh, please confirm the delete action. Of course that's what I'm going to do. Now I know that th that the warmer cooler is not uh, use doing a lot in many of the other parameters here. However any kind of involvement of that warmer cooler or any point that you delete it can significantly affect the program. Now this one, since I have that deleted, I am simply going to save the file and my next step is to simply load it back into the controller. I'm going to hit the load button. Of course it's going to ask me my connection type again, which none of that has changed. And since uh, the program is address specific it's only going to give me the option basically for the particular box that I'm changing once I hit the next button you will notice here that since we are upgrading this controller to the newer version of CCT it must load the boot as well as the main uh, and then the application alone 
uh, all of this must be done in order for the box to uh, be uh, to work correctly uh, with the new sensor. So once I get to this screen here, I uh, simply hit finish and it will begin the upload. If you uncheck or try not to download that boot section, it will not let you reload this box. So we're just going to hit finish and it will reload the control program into the box once it gets done loading the boot section as well as the main program it will then load the particular application. One thing you will notice within uh, Metasys extended architecture once you make that change the warmer cooler point will come up as being offline since it is no longer in the program Metasys does not know how to interpret it so to delete that out of Metasys you simply drop down the controller screen from your all items tab find the warmer cooler adjust point simply hit delete and depending on your authorization level it will come up and ask if this is really what you want to do and once you hit continue it will delete that point from Metasys however until you pull the controller back over again it will still show up in on your right panel but uh, once you pull it over again it will uh, disappear as we can see here and you can also see that we are reading zone temperature of the space <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,